amazing way for us to get back into the swing of things. I think after our first album we were creatively pretty much drained so we decided to call some friends up, book some shows, get on the road and uh, yeah, do our thing. The tour will take the band across South Africa, introducing them to new landscapes and faces as they move from city to city. Their first stop is the sleepy seaside town of Nizna. We'll take it easy on ourselves. Don't gotta do nothing for nobody else. We've, uh, we've uh, settled into our awesome little house in uh, Nizna. Had a, an awesome drive up to Garden Ridge this morning. It's got a really exciting day planned tomorrow. We're going to be heading up to uh, Slow Cross Bridge to do the highest bungee jump in the world. <laughs> the band has an early night, waking at dawn to prepare for their first performance. They throw together an impromptu rehearsal using one of Ben's inventions. Uh, basically, I've been running an AC inverter out the back of the car to power all the equipment and plugging into the AUX system on the minis. Uh, and it pumps, so packing it up now, I'm going to hit the road and head through to go have a bit of bungee. here at the Blokrant bungee jump and uh, the two boys, the good luck guys, are going to brave it. I can't wait. I'm freaking nervous for them, but let's do it. I like jumping without shoes, man. Why? Because if I go down, I can feel the wind through my toes. But, but for you, man, I'm not sure if you're going to feel that now. Is this going to be your first jump? Your mind is going to be elsewhere, but... <laughs> We're taking it easy. 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 It was very, it's a very intense feeling. And then you bounce and everything tightens and then it just goes quiet. We've just arrived in Port Elizabeth and we're playing at this club Sugar, which is a cool little place. Peace to friendly city, so we're expecting to see a lot of friendly faces tonight. You've my friend in your life. You've made the front page. Don't just stop. 
It's up as five, I think. <laughs> this is this is what it's like in the real world. I'm going to Trump Sky. Yeah, exciting times. In the trans sky, the band are meeting up with an old friend, Albert, who spends his days showing tourists and friends this magical part of the country. So we've got a, a, a very cool guy who's looking after us today, his name's Albert. He's grown up in the trans sky, and he's, uh, he's taking us back to this amazing guest house. I say guest house, not really a guest house, it's, it's a, a guest community and uh, they're going to be looking after us tonight and feeding us and uh, basically just sharing their life with us for a little bit. The band eventually finds their own community, only to discover that they must first charm the guards manning the gate. After proving themselves, the band are allowed to enter, bringing to an end a long day of treacherous striving. Pretty interesting day, dodging cows, dodging crater-sized potholes. But it's been probably one of the most amazing days for I think all of us. We have really have gone off the beaten track here. Uh, we've been hosted by one of the families up on the hill. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of amazing to be out here, I'm not gonna lie to you. Albert prepares a traditional tosa meal of sand and beans. Yo, guys, you will love this. <laughs> Pokoto. Pokoto. Pokoto, yeah. Pokoto is great. They spend the evening in the mud hut drinking umkombot and learning a bit more about life in the trans sky. As the herders take their cows to the fields, the band must take their cows back to the real world and each says their own goodbyes to the mystical trans sky. This is Piwe, he's a legend. Come. Too shy. <laughs> we, we woke up this morning about 5.30 and spent the better half of the next 15 hours navigating our way out of the trans sky, overcoming busted tires, nearly running out of petrol. And we've uh, finally managed to get ourselves to Marysburg. We're shattered, and we're gonna have probably one of the craziest parties of the tour so far. It's gonna be grand. says a final farewell to the remains of the trans sky. This morning, they are making their short skip to Durban. They are home away from home. We're in Durban. I absolutely love the city. Um, the first gig we played here was opening for Goldfish. It was pissing with rain. And all 5,000 people partied like I have never seen anyone party in this pouring rain. And it was one of the best gigs we've ever had. I believe it's a band. Tonight's our first night of full scale production, and I think it's just gonna be great. As long as uh, the rain holds off, it's gonna be sick. After sound checking at Sasha's, they head out to relax before the evening's performance.
day today, getting to Durban, nice short drive. Um, and we had a good sound check, cool time at the pool, chilled out a bit. And I think the lack of sleep is catching up to everyone because if you look around the room, it seems to be pretty quiet. <laughs> Everyone's chilling. We calm before the storm. Gig starts in a couple of hours, so yeah, we all just taking it easy, as they say. <laughs> I'm really excited to play tonight. It's such a dozen rain. <laughs> first night. The first is Tough on Ten Race Course. Surprise. And after getting a few hours of well deserved sleep, 
the band are off to Soweto to catch up with some old friends. <laughs> Black Peep, Timeless Records, the whole family put luck. And we like that, you know, it's like one family. Thank you very much for turning so with us and good luck. Yeah. <laughs> As the sun moves behind the high felt clouds, the band heads to Nikki Beach for a Sunday matinee like no other. when you pick up a nail somewhere on the journey. Uh, we're heading through to Craftnet today, 900 odd k's, so nice long mission. The rogue nail that found the band in the trans sky has finally defeated its tire. The fleet is halted in its tracks, waiting patiently in a free state meadow for a replacement. in a pretty special part of the country and it's the second last leg of our journey. We're stopping over in a beautiful little farm in the middle of the crew. We had a bloody hectic day though. We had a tire explode this morning so we are four hours behind schedule. We were at our 400th stop go and uh, we're just waiting to get back on the road. Uh, we're heading to our accommodation which is in the middle of nowhere and there's just space. It's very quiet, it's beautiful and we're on our way home. Behind schedule, and with little chance of reaching their destination before nightfall, Ben, Jules and Raven take a few minutes to experience the breathtaking sunset. They recount the memories that this whirlwind tour has brought, and take a moment to think not only where they've been, but where they are going. Of course, that decision is not entirely up to them as they soon find out. Well, we just had a serious, serious near miss. We just outside of Crawford and we ploughed straight into what I think was a, a kudu. Um, I just remember driving down the road, seeing the first kudu run across, swerving into the right-hand lane to move to, to miss the first kudu, and then the next kudu being there, hitting it, putting my head down, then just as all the glass and dust and gore smashes through, trying to look up through all the dust coming through the windscreen. Checking to see if Jules is okay. I was like, are you okay, are you okay? Jules goes, yeah, I'm okay. Um, and then we're still on the wrong side of the road now and there's a car coming towards us. Jules goes, there's a car coming. You know, because obviously we're on the wrong side of the lane. And then just sort of trying to steer across through like glass and dust to the side of the road. And then getting to the side of the road and going, Picking up the pieces in the quiet town of Graf Reinet, the band begins an anxious homeward journey, racing the clock, but watching the road. Well, we're, we're back on the road again, leaving Graf Reinet, um, after quite an eventful night, as you would have seen. Um, uh, we got a phone call uh, this morning, actually, Telling us that we've got uh, two gigs in Durban this evening. So we're rushing back to Cape Town to jump on a plane this afternoon so that we can make it back to Durban in time to go finish another leg of our journey. We are trying to get to the airport. It's uh, We have 15 minutes to get there before we have to get there to check in and we've got to unpack. And uh, we thought we'd have time to go home and change and shower and sort out my head, but no. So we are on our way, missioning straight there. 
What did you do in the last 24 hours, Jules? Well, I drove from Joburg, I got to a place in the middle of nowhere and hit a buck, almost died, got back in the car, drove all the way to Cape Town, ate a burger, came to Apple, got on a plane, went back to Durban and played two gigs, then came home and then played another gig. I can't believe we get back to Cape Town and um, we've got to leave, you know, like, especially when you look at that. After saying a fleeting hello to Table Mountain, they then rocked two Devon shows before catching the red eye home even sneaking a quick save before the last show. One of the best parts about leaving Cape Town is that you get to come back to this. Magic. Don't just stop.